Hi friends, Misha Crossing here. Welcome to a new day here in Kodama. I forgot I had fossils sitting out here. Uh, so since I have last recorded, I have done the diving trick, which I got the windmill suggested. I'm kind of debating building it, but I don't really think I want to. Uh, I also went to the island and caught some fish and bugs, or some sharks and bugs to sell. I made quite a bit of money, not quite enough to build the totem pole, but I don't... I'm kind of leaning towards not building the totem pole anyways. Um, but I am going to build a new public works project today, I do believe. Um, but I will do that soon. I'm going to go around town, look for some fossils to dig up, maybe a snowman to build. Is that cat up there? I believe so. Yes, it is. Hey, what's up, Lady M? So, what's up? You just said that. <laughs> wow, so this just might be a rumor or whatever, but I heard Flo is thinking about moving. Hmm, it doesn't really seem like something she'd do, you know? Well, it does seem like something she'd do because she's doing it. She already told me about it. <laughs> Believe she is leaving on the 3rd, if my memory serves. Alright, just a gyroid, not a fossil. Um, So I'm thinking of putting something right here. Not quite sure what yet, though. <laughs> but something. Oh, dig these red flowers up, but I don't want to dig up the black ones. Oopsie daisy. Okay, there we go. Wanted to make sure- oh, there weren't even any black ones beside it. I thought there were some black roses beside it. <laughs> oh, car snowballs, where art thou? Oh, there's one! Now my snow tyke is gone. I used to have a snow tyke. Where was he? Oh, he was- he was right here. Used to have a snow tyke right here, but he is no more. Um, I believe I'm going to try to build an actual snowman today. I think his snowball require like the the bottom snowball has to be like the biggest it can possibly be. I think for him. I'm just gonna try and build it up a little bit to where I can. Yeah, actually. Push it, oops, push it around, but then I made it a little too small. Okay, here we go. Gonna try and, oh, don't run into that tree. Try and put them up here somewhere. Just gotta have free space around them. Oh, oh god. You guys, New Year's is tomorrow night. Um, what are your all's plans? Are you all gonna go out to like a part? Like, are you going to a friend's party? Are you gonna go to something out and about in town, like to a bar, to a club, or to a restaurant, or you know, something like that? Um, normally, I'd be going to like a couple of friends' parties, um, hanging out with people, um, but. I think I mentioned in a previous video that my boyfriend has to work super early the next day and I think I'm off the day after New Year's but uh or I'm off New Year's Day uh I'm off the day after New Year's Day too what day is New Year's Day hold on is it a Sunday if it's a Sunday then I think I'm off the day afterwards hold on. I'm looking at my calendar real quick I'm curious now <laughs> yes it's a Sunday um so I am off, obviously, on the weekend, but I'm also off on the second. Nice! So I'll get to film some videos for you all. Alright, so I'll leave that snowball there. Um, but yeah, my boyfriend has to work super duper early the next day, so we are just going to have an early night, which I am so super fine with. I don't think I could <laughs> stay up until midnight anyways, uh, comfortably. I think, oh, hi Deirdre. I think I would end up passing out in the middle of a party. <laughs> even if we did try to stay out, so I am fine with going to bed a little early, pulling a mamma and papa night. So anyway, did you need something? So Misha, they say to fool enemies, you have to be able to fool your friends first. I don't know about that, but just thinking about it made me want to play <gasps> hide and seek. What do you say? Oh my god, you guys, this is my first time playing hide and seek in Kodama. Yes, I'll round up a few more people to play too. Let's meet later in the event plaza. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> okay, here- oh my god, there are so many trees in my town. This is gonna be impossible. Oh, I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're all gonna go hide. Misha, if you find all three of us within ten minutes, you win. 
No cheating hiders. <laughs> no hiding inside buildings. So Misha, don't waste time looking inside. Oh my god, my cat is trying to eat this plant. Hold on, let me forcefully remove her from the desk. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it's starting. I did. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I've got ten minutes to find everybody. Basically, I'm just gonna be walking around. <laughs> Um, doing this a bunch, trying to see if I can find everybody. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the first time I've played hide and seek in this town. It's the first time I've played hide and seek in, oh my god, so long. Yeah, I probably haven't played it since I was building up my town fawn, and that's been a long time. Okay, where is everybody? Did I see somebody back there? Okay, I thought I got a glimpse of somebody up there. I'm gonna feel so silly if I'm like looking around for peep for my villagers and then you all end up seeing them. Um, okay, Flo's not hiding. <laughs> She's just chilling up there. No, I'm not gonna let her talk to me though because she might decide to not move out. Um, <laughs> and I want her to move out. <gasps> oh, looky, looky, there's Deirdre hiding behind that tree. <gasps> Look at her peeking out. Oh, trying to see if I'm coming. But it's so funny that I can like stand right here and they're like, oh, where is she? I have to actually talk to her. <laughs> you found me. Kai just can't resist peeking. But you haven't found the other two yet, have you? Whoa, I'm shocked I went out first. <laughs> okay, let's find everybody else. Oh, Ruby's inside. Wouldn't it be funny if somebody cheated and just went inside to Ruby's house? Had her hide them. See if anybody's hiding around my house. Oh, there's the other snowball! Yay! Maybe I'll try to uh, push it down. Probably won't push it all the way over to the event plaza, but I'll try to get some progress on it. Can dung beetles push around like really big snow? <gasps> Did I destroy it? No, I didn't. Good. Wondering if dung beetles could uh, push around big snowballs like the one that I just made for the bottom of the snowman. I'd be funny if I went back down and there was a dung beetle pushing that huge, huge snowball around. <gasps> oh, look, there's Elmer! He's hiding behind that apple tree right beside the river. He thinks he's so sneaky. I want to see him peek out one more time. Whoop! <laughs> Yikes! Lady M, I can't believe you found me! Oh no, if you find one more person, we lose! Yep, you gonna lose so hard, you have no idea. Oh god, don't go in the river. Um, um, can I get it? Oh, yeah, I got it. Alright, I'm gonna come back for that snowball. I'm gonna look for who else is it? Cat. I'm looking for cat. I'm trying to think if I've ever lost a game of hide and seek. I feel like I have um, once or twice. Which is so frustrating because you have 10 minutes to find everybody. And it's like you can just walk around town and do, you know, the little camera trick to make the trees disappear so you can see them. Oh, there's Clay walking around. Clay, do you know where anybody is? Tell me. Give me the intel. Give me the give me the lowdown. Give me the 411. What's the latest? I heard a rumor that you come from a fishing family. <laughs> you're such a natural at fishing. I can believe it. Anyway, since you're so good at fishing, I was hoping you could catch me a string fish. Clay, I'm in the middle of doing something right now. I got villagers to find. I can't I can't catch you a fish. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad saying no to those things, but I have to. Especially because I don't think I- Oop! There's Cat hiding behind Fauna- Is that Fauna's house? Yeah, Fauna's house. She looks like she thinks she's so sneaky, but I got her. You found me! God, I just can't resist peeking. And I won! <laughs> I'm pretty good, but you got me. Have you had some special training in hide and seek or something? I'll send you a prize later, so look out for it, Traveler. Yay! I won! Oh, Red's here! Hello! Okay, I am going to go get that other snowball first, um, and bring it down here, and then I'll probably buy something from Red. Oh, I'll get so so much mail tomorrow. I'm so excited. 
Get something from Deirdre for wanting hide and seek. <gasps> no! <laughs> that genuinely, like, shocked me. <laughs> uh, right into the corner. Okay, let me go inside and back outside and find it again. Pop into retail real quick like. <sighs> oh, Eric's in here shopping. You are not buying a drum set, mister. Do I have- okay, I do not have anything to pick up. You are not replacing anything in your cozy little cabin with a big drum set. Uh-uh. Wouldn't it be great if the snowball was just right here? I'd love it. Okay, so Flo's house is going to be gone soon, which will be very nice. <laughs> Oh, what's on the bulletin board? Oh, the camping cot's completed. Okay, I knew that already. <laughs> um, see if the snowball's up here. Make sure I don't look over it. Maybe I should build a public works project up here. Maybe I should like bend the bend build the windmill up here. I don't. I just don't know what I want to build up there. I don't really want to build the windmill. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, who's planting? Elmer keeps planting yellow tulips. I feel like I've seen yellow tulips here before. Naughty, naughty Nelly. Um, let's pop into the police station, then we'll go into Isabel. Not go into Isabel. We're gonna go into the town hall and talk to Isabel. Oh, look, a mushroom. Oh, that's from uh. Uh, I built the snowman on top of a mushroom, I think, one time, and so the, the mushroom came here. That's funny. G good afternoon. Is um, there something I can help you with? Anything unusual? Well, um, considering the day and time right now, I think Red's Gallery is open for business over in the event plaza, most likely. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, I think you're looking at a flat mushroom. Will you take that item home? Yep. Oh, my pockets are full! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking it'd be hard for you to carry anything else. He's just so sweet and considerate. Oh, I forgot I had my, uh, 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 those black lilies in here. Okay, now I'll take it. It's fine. Not a problem, I think. Listen, Booker, I'm the mayor. You can trust me. I wouldn't claim an item that wasn't mine. Maybe. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put this mushroom... Uh, right here. And then I'm going to put these lilies also right here. Okay, let's go talk to Isabel about a public works project. Oh, what are my initiatives? Good fit. Some folks dress for success, but why not dress to look great? Get started by spending over 500 bells at the Able Sisters. Hey! Stringfish! Uh, who was it? Clay just asked me to catch a stringfish. Do not fear that giant looming shadow beneath the river's surface. Catch the legendary stringfish behind it. Um... I mean, I guess a stringfish is a rarer fish. I've never caught one, so it's gotta be- it's the really, really big shadow. Hmm. Why do villagers always ask for really rare fish? Why not ask for, like, a horse mackerel? Or, uh, a dab? Or, uh, you know, a sea bass? Ask for a sea bass. Oh, uh, what do you say about going to the camping cot? Um, I'd be happy to. Let's go do that. Um... And then I'll kind of make my way back up. And I'll go to Red's Gallery on the way. Maybe I'll find the other snowball. It'll be good fun. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Grand Completion Ceremony for Kodama's Camping Cot Project. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today. Do I only have two villagers here? Only two? I guess just because there's not space for more than two? <laughs> I don't know. But we did it! Well said, Mayor. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item we passed out earlier and get ready. And now, to celebrate the completion of this public works project and all the hard work that made it possible. Ready, set, pop. Eee! I love the camping car right by Cat's house. She can sleep outside under the stars. Probably not during the winter. It'd be so, so chilly. But thank you all for coming. Alright, let's... Oh god, she pinged me again. Stop pinging me. I don't want her to change her mind about moving out. <laughs> I just know that that's the second time she's pinged me today. So I just know that's what she's gonna do is change her mind. So I just refuse to talk to her. 
Uh, okay, Snowball. Reveal yourself. Where are you? I'm gonna put these flowers. Um, sure, right here. Why not? Um, is the snowball right where it was? Yes, it is. No dung beetle pushing it around. Okay, no snowball up here. Up here, no. Okay. Let's go into Red's gallery, see what we got. Ooh. Eyebrow just got like super itchy. Ooh. Oh goodness, what's happening? What we got? We got a pharaoh's head. We got... Oh, this guy. Oh, I think this one's genuine because he's only got the one finger pointing. He's just got the finger guns. Because if he has, like, all of, his all of his fingers spread out on his bottom hand, I think that means it's fake. But if he's got finger guns, then it's real. Pretty sure. I don't know how to tell if the Mona Lisa's fake or not. Maybe that one's always genuine. Oh, I better look it up just to be sure. I really just need to bookmark the <laughs> Red's Gallery um, thonky page. Let's see. ACNL. Red. Art. Sure. There we go. Thonky is such a weird word. I've not, I don't think I've ever said thonky out loud before. <laughs> but it's just a good sight with good good guides. Um, so the Mona Lisa, if her fingers are pointing to the bottom left corner of the picture, it's fake. So what's Mona Lisa doing? Um, let's... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So her hands are supposed to be crossed the other way. So that one's fake. I'm pretty sure this one, the finger guns, is the genuine one. Uh... Oh no! If he's only pointing one finger of each hand, it's fake. Ugh. Okay, never mind. Finger guns is fake. I was mistaken. So let's see. Who... What painting is that? Um, if she's holding a fluffy white cat, it's fake. If she's holding a skinny white ermine, E-R-M-I-N-E, -E, the heck is that? I think it's, it's not a cat. I'm pretty sure it's not a cat. Let me look up the pharaoh's head, the mystic statue. If her hat is spherical, it's fake. All right, well, that one's fake, so that leaves this one. Yeah, that's not a cat, I guess. Whoa, I see you've got only for that serene painting. Did I say eyes only, or did I just completely skip saying eyes? I don't know. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll wrap this up nice and safe to you. Alright. Thanks, Red. Thanks for always having at least one genuine thing. I guess. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go to Isabel. Build the public works project. Maybe I want to build a snowman, though, instead of the public works project. Hmm. I want a snowman. Yeah, I'm gonna find this other snowball. I'll, I'll meet you back when I find the snowball. Found it! It's right by my house. Okay, so let's try to get it to the Greek. Uh, <laughs> to the other snowball. Oh god. Without running in to anything. Which is very difficult in this town. There's a lot of trees. A lot of trees in a lot of places. Okie doke. So this snowball is probably going to get pretty hefty on my way to uh, the town plaza. But I hoo -hoo -hoo should be able... To get it there, hopefully. Okay, let me sit it back up here. Over this way. Um... It's gonna be the best way to go. I feel like up this way through the campsite might be the best way. Oh gosh, but then there's the skinny part right here. I think I can get it. I'm just gonna make it a little smaller so it's a little easier. 
to push through. Okay, guys, send me uh, some some positive thoughts, good vibes. I just don't want to push it into the river or into any of these trees. Oh, we made it. Okay. Now we need to go over and up. But I think the hardest part is out of the way. I'm gonna make it just a teensy bit smaller on this dirt here. Okay. Oh god, that was close. Just hit a lot of things. Okay, I don't want to push it into a villager and have it break against a villager. I don't know if you can even do that, though. Um, okay. Over this way. It's a very delicate procedure. <sighs> okay, guys. We are so almost there. <laughs> oh, just hit against that bush. I got really nervous for a second. Okay, I just need to make it smaller now. <laughs> but here's the big guy. Um, let me make it a little smaller because it'll gain just a little bit of snow as I push it over there. Okay. Is this... Is this properly uh, uh, proportioned? I hope so. Let's see. Yay! Look at him! <gasps> Bravo! Wonderful! Such amazing craftsmanship! Who in the world are you? You're a snowman builder of the rarest caliber. That's who you are. I'm overflowing with joy to have been scooped into a body like this. I'd like to express my profound appreciation with a game of bingo. What do you say? What? You say you are without a bingo card? Then I, snowman, shall bestow upon you a bingo card. Thanks! Well then, here is the bingo card. I can only give you one, so please do not lose it. Well then, shall we get the bingo game started? Yes, please, bingo me up. To kick things off, touch the center of the card to punch a hole in it. Okay. Excellent. Well then, snowman slot, start spinning. Let's see, what number we get today? Three. Eight. Do I Yay, I have a 38. And the number of the day is 38. Haha, <laughs> it appears you do have 38. Please punch a hole in your card. I did it already. Splendid. Today's number opens the way for tomorrow. It is an important step forward in your journey towards bingo. Do come again. I shall be waiting right here, weather permitting. <laughs> Thank you, snowman. You look so nice by that picnic blanket. My number for the day is 38. Would you like to play bingo? I mean, I already played. If you know of anyone in search of a good, high-quality 38, please send them my way. And it's cool that you can, like, go to other people's towns and get n numbers for bingo, um, so you're not ha you don't have to rely on your own snowman 100%. Um, but I think I'm gonna play it completely in my town, just cause. We'll, we'll, we'll put these red lilies here. Someone who wants to get their butt kicked. Alright, well that is going to be it for my episode today. Uh, tomorrow I will definitely build a public works project with Isabel. No, no, uh, no getting around it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed watching me build a snowman and buying art from Red and playing hide and seek. That was so much fun. Uh, I will be up tomorrow with another episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf. And tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Gonna be so exciting. I'll ring in the new year here. Um... But it will be, I'll be playing much earlier than midnight in real life because I'm a little grandma and I gotta, gotta go to bed early. <laughs> Alright, you'll have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another and don't forget to be awesome. Bye!